Okay. Half an hour for a prologue. Mm, I guess that's okay. Here we have Vaughn, and I know him because of Dissidia. Vaughn! Hurry it up or they'll find us! I, know, I also know, I know about Ash, cause uh just cause you, keep you know she's like the pretty girl of the game. <laughs> One, two, three more. Alright. Time to clean house. Alright. Get back here, you stupid rat. Okay, where's the last one? There you are. something big comes along hey it's good practice for the desert I'm ready for anything now that's enough for today you should get back to Miguel's place kites aren't you running errands for him oops <laughs> totally forgot you should come Vaughn he's busy today might have some work for you to do too I've got other um work to do Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Royal City of Rabinaster. See, I have no idea what 706 Old Valendian means. Two years after the fall of Dalmasca, so this is two years after the prologue. What'd you say? Yes, uh, sir. You haven't paid, and I what? Haven't paid? Uh, uh, on second thought, please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod be. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops. Sorry. What way you're going, churl? Huh? My pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! Feels stranger like Aladdin. Oh. It's funny how those uh those dudes were ready to strangle a peddler to death and then they can't shove people out of their way. The dichotomy of man. <sighs> what? Hey, that's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? Their in-game sprites look really weird. One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. 
<laughs> well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're riding in a dungeon. <laughs> oh, Magello had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. Your location map often bears a mark showing your destination. Consult the map when you are unsure of where to go next. World map and added to party menu. All right, let's talk to some people. You getting in trouble with the Imperials again, Vaughn? Well, try to be careful. If not for your own sake, then for Miguel and Pinello, okay? What a thoughtful guy. Oh, lonely boy. There sure are a lot of Imperials out today. They think they're so great, but I hate them. Hey, mister. You want to hear about the history of Rabinaster? It won't cost you. It won't cost you much. What? I gotta eat too, you know. Let's see. One gil ought to do it. Yeah, sure. Let's hear it. Okay, so two years back, Rabinaster lost the war with the Empire. That's when all the... That's when all the guards came and made us live under the city. The Empire has only one person who runs the city and everything. He's called the Consul. The new Consul's coming today. That's why there's so many Imperials here. Okay, kind of short, huh? Don't worry, I'll try and find some new things to add for next time. What a ripoff. Let's talk to this lady. You can cut the tension with a knife out here on the streets. Guards at every corner. I can hardly stand it. If anyone asked, I said nothing. Nothing, understood? I was just down at Miguelo's sundries. That Miguelo's coming... That Miguelo's coming and going, so I'm half afraid he's gonna wear the door off its hinges. That Miguelo's made quite a name for himself. What with a sundry shop and of his and all, there's one Benga fella could take after. There's one Benga'a a fella could take after. Uh, if I remember correctly from like when I played this game a few days ago, um, a Benga'a is kind of like their race, I think. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird name. Vexed Father. They've closed all the stairs. They've closed all the stairs to Lowtown. Can you believe that? I don't care how important today is. This is absurd. Only been two years since Princess Ash took her own life, but it seems like Rabin Aster's been in the Empire forever. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Yeah, you're right in front of an Imperial Guard. Let's talk to the Imperial Guard over here. Step back. Now, I haven't finished interrogating these two yet. Sorry. Did I talk to you already? Oh, no I haven't. It's sweltering even here in the shade. Maybe I'll head up to the sand sea and get something to drink. Where's the sand sea again? Little boy. His name's Jom. Oh, Vaughn, how you doing? Lots of people out today. Though I may try out some of those tricks you showed me. Hehe. <laughs> and it's only walking past the sand sea I was when a sudden thirst seized me. But I ain't going. I ain't a going in. Got to save my gill. Penelo! Miguel seemed like he was in a hurry. He's probably still at the shop. Better not keep him waiting for too long. Gotcha. The sand sea. I should really go see Miguel first. Alright. Let's go hang out with Miguel. Yeah, I talked to everyone here, except for this dude, Miguelo, feeding the new consul, feeding, feeding the new consul, Miguelo this, Miguelo that, it's all I ever hear these days. Well, he's kind of a big deal. There's a nervous energy running through the whole city today. With the new consul coming, I suppose it's to be expected. More people. 
Everyone sure seems busy today. You, Kites, Pinello? Me? Don't worry, I've got my own work to keep me busy. Hehe. <laughs> I'm gonna be so rich that... I'm gonna be so rich that... I know, I'll be rich enough to buy an airship. You can ride... You can ride it anytime you want, Vaughn. Damn, I couldn't talk to the other dude. Ah, Vaughn, I was waiting. Pinello said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier in the morning. Uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble out in the desert. Now I've no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams with trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Ah. I can't leave my shop at night. Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. <clears throat> what do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. So Vaughn seems like- oh wait, let's talk to this guy first. Came to the East End to do some shopping, but there's so many shops I don't know where to begin. Okay, so with Vaughn, he sounds like, uh, he's this restless teenager that wants a life full of adventure. That's why he kind of likes- he wants to be a sky pirate and all that. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe his character changes a bit as the story progresses. Hopefully. We did see sundries here, so let's just go for it. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? He's a fast talker. Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> Whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Ah, don't remind me. Got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand. What's stopping our couriers? And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. <laughs> it's a weird ass run. So here's how it works. People post bills here on the notice board when they have a monster they need taken care of. Headhunters track people, right? Well, hunters track monsters. The monsters you're hunting is called your mark. Here's the bill I posted for the rogue tomato. The mark I petitioned to have hunted. Do you want to hear all the details? Yes, I would like to. Even though I already know them because I remember I have played this two days ago. Let's start with accepting hunts. You can't just go take a look at the board then go off running to hunt the mark. You'll miss out on the bounty. You gotta talk to the person who posted the bill. The petitioner. First, let him know you're going on the hunt. So take this rogue tomato bill, for example. I posted it, so I'm the petitioner. You have to come talk to me. Let's call that step done, okay? Once your agreement's in place, the petitioner will tell you how to find the mark. Then you hunt it, report back, and claim the bounty. Oh, and I'll give you something to help keep track of your hunts. A clan primer. Use this to refresh your memory about hunts you've accepted. Say in a clan primer. Okay. Go ahead and take this while you're at it. Just a little something to commemorate your first hunt. Norike armlet. Hmm, looks like you can't even equip that yet. Know why? You don't have the license for it. Now this is the job system that I was talking about. This is, uh, we'll just watch him explain it. 
Think of licenses as mileposts, marking your progress as your combat skills improve. Swords, bows, black magics, white magics, none of it does you a lick of good until you have the license to use it. Same goes for that armlet. Tomaj, how can I equip this great treasure you've bestowed on me, you ask? Easy. Learn by doing. Let's give it a try. Licenses have been added to the party menu. I'd say you're ready to hunt that mark for me. Oh, you'll be needing this to leave the city. Just show it to the watch at the gate. He obtained a writ of transit. The east gate's the one you'll want to head out. Once you've taken care of that mark for me, let me know. Your work won't go un unrewarded. All right. Try equipping the Auric Hay Armlet. Use the license command in the party menu to obtain accessories one license. Then use the equip command to equip it. Nope. They just warned us that we won't be able to change. Um, I'm going to stick with what I chose uh, when I first recorded this. I went for the Shikari. Um, but I'll try to... Okay, alright. Let me explain all of them. So, White Mage, self-explanatory. This is a White Mage. They do the healing stuff. Um, the Shikari, I would say these are like the, um, the thieves in the game, because there are no thieves, if you noticed. These are like the thief, uh, job class, whatever. So they use daggers, and they have, uh, first aid, uh, first aid technique. I don't, I have no idea, honestly, like, how to use that. Um, then we have the Bushi, um, these are the sword masters who devote themselves, body and soul, to use their, uh, to their lords. I consider them as samurais, um... I think the best way to put this is like the samurai class in Final Fantasy VI, if you've played that. If you haven't, then yeah, they're pretty much a samurai. And then we have Black Mage, obviously these are the ones who are proficient in black magic. We have Archers, these are the ones, it's self-explanatory, You, everyone knows what an Archer is, they use bow and arrows. Um, Foe Breaker, now um, I would classify this one as someone like the Engineer class from Final Fantasy IV. Four. Um, I'm talking about Sid from Final Fantasy IV. He's an engineer. Um, and uh, if you haven't played Final Fantasy IV, I have a playthrough. That was the very first playthrough I did for um, my channel. So go ahead, check that out. It's a little rusty. Uh, not a little rusty. It's really rusty. But, yep, you know what? Uh, it's a great playthrough for the story, and I think you guys would enjoy it too. Uh, shameless plug right there. Sorry. Then here we have the Time Battle Mages. These are pretty much the Time Mage. These are the ones in charge of using spells that affect or that have sort of like a time limit. So these are spells like Haste, uh, Reflect, etc. And for some reason they also use crossbows, whatever. Then we have the Monk class. This is a, a pretty famous class. They kind of use their fists or in this game they also use poles for some reasons. Um, they have Achilles, which inflicts elemental weaknesses. Whoa, that's actually kind of cool. And then we have the Knight. That's obviously just the standard Knight class. Um, uh, I'm just giving my general impressions of, like, when I read through these the first time. So, like, uh, yeah. Everyone knows what a Knight is. Um, sort of like the Paladin type of character, whatever. Then we have a Red Battle Mage, which is essentially the Red Mage. Um, now, from older Final Fantasy games, Red Mages um, are proficient in both um, white and black magic, but only to a certain limit. Like, they can't learn level 3 spells for white mages and uh, black mages. Um, and it looks like that same mechanic is brought over to here. Uh, they are using maces now, so I guess um, they also have some physical damage output, which is similar to like what it was from the older Final Fantasy games. Now this one, a machinist uh, or a machinist, I have no idea what this adds up to. He uses guns, I guess, so yeah, that's that. And then we have an Ulan or an Ulan, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, and these are the guys that wield spears, I guess, and can revive? I, I have honestly no idea. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the Shikari, because this is what I chose the first time. I did preview some of their boards in my first playthrough, so, uh, when we, uh, go back, and then we look at this. Alright, so I have LP at the top. 
now I need I'm I'm assuming LP means license points so obviously the numbers on the bottom left of each of the uh, little um, tiles uh, indicate how many license points required or you could read it at the bottom with the explanation where it requires LP5 so yeah since I have six license points I can afford this one I cannot afford any of these other ones because that's way too much of my pay grade that's way over my pay grade anyway so once I obtain this one, I can uh, equip that weapon and it unlocks two more. Right. Forgot about that. All right. Let's do it. All right. Yep. Equip, equip, equip. All right. Perfect. Uh, let me just open the world map. Rabinaster. Gram Scythe. Waterway. When did we go here? Is this where Vaughn's first scene started? I have no idea. Nalbana Forces. No idea. Clan Primer. Nothing yet. Okay. Bestiary, Diorats. Oh, cool. We get to see them. Traveler tips. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're not going to look at all that. Because who would? Like, in a casual playthrough, who would? I hear there's... I hear there's a mark out in the uh, Esther Sand. Of course, the Imperials are too busy by securing the Too busy securing the city to worry about troubles beyond her walls. Hey, Vaughn. Something I can help you with? Nope. I think we're good. You'll never find that rogue tomato standing around here. The Imperials have started locking down the gates for the parade, but you ought to be able to get out if you show them that writ I gave you. Just talk to the just, just talk to the watch by the east gate in the southern plaza. You shouldn't have any trouble. A parade to install this new console. Fi. They're just looking for an excuse to flaunt their might. Well, let the fool strut, I say. I heard you could still leave the city through the east gate, but when I tried to pass, I was turned away. Turns out they're only letting through people on business for the fate. Would it kill them to bend the rules? I hope they didn't hear that. What is upstairs? I'm sorry, but the balcony is reserved for the members of the Imperial Watch. Or so they've decided, at least. They're nothing more than two bits swords, if you ask me. I've never heard these phrases before. Who gave you leave to come up here, boy? The balcony is reserved for the Imperial Watch, you hear? Gotcha. Barkeep. Have you seen how many guards they've stationed in the Southern Plaza? I suppose it makes sense. That is where the city gates are. If you find yourself by Megalos, you should take a look. Not every day you see that many Imperials in one place. Alright. Well, let's go. Alright, yep. Same dialogue. And Pinello's not here anymore. That's odd. Let's keep it moving. Miguelos, right? Yeah. Alright. But according to the map, we have to pass through this thing so we could... So we pretty much just take a U-turn once we get out from here. I wonder if we can talk to a bunch of people. The south and west gates are closed. If you've business outside the city, show a red at the east gate and be quick. She'll be closed soon. What does this dude say? Do you always talk to strangers this way? Best learn to mind your place, churl. I have no idea what the hell a churl is. This gate's already closed. I bloody hate dealing with crowds. Talk to more people. Not long before the consul's appointment ceremony begins, the south and west gates... The south 
The south and west gates have been closed as part of the hide and watch. Desert Merchant. I made it from the Esther Sand just before they closed the gates, but my friend was stopped before he could get through. Could you take him something for me? Oh, sure. No problem. Excellent. You should find him just outside the east gate at Bengal, just like myself. And don't go selling that to pocket the gill for yourself, you hear? Small package. Uh, couldn't even if I wanted to. Let's go. You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Magello. I just hate to see the console upset because well, we got that from Tomaj. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Console is a great man. I not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the console waiting. Right. Gates are closed after this. Okay. Your eyes not working, boy. You want to pass, you queue up with everyone else. Any arguments, speak to the guard at the back of the back of the queue. Your eyes okay. Same. They're inspecting everyone before letting people through. You're gonna have to stand in line if you want in. Not that the line is moving. Not many more people coming along now. Once we get this lot taken care of, that should just about do it, I'd say. What about you? Looking to get inside? No thanks. I got some stuff to do. Okay, same thing. This is the dude, right? Okay. Once the gate's closed, they'll not be letting anyone through. No exceptions. I'm getting in while the getting's good. You're trying to push in? Best be rethinking that move, mate. You want inside? Get in the line behind me, understand? But... Which one's the Benga that got stuck outside? It's not this dude, is it? The inspection line's growing... Grown a good deal shorter. I'm not sure you heard that, but there was like this really loud thunderclap. The inspection line's growing a good deal shorter, and hardly anyone's leaving the city now. I imagine these people will be the last through. I suppose I should be heading in myself. Wouldn't do to be shut out here, would it? What was with that audio glitch? Are you a Benga? Can I pass through the gates till they finish going over my belongings? Risk life and limb crossing the desert to be treated like this, bah. On your way out the city. On your way out to the city, are ye? There's a tomato beast running amok and bluff close by. Don't get yourself into nay bothered. Die here, mate? I added the mate, sorry. <laughs> that was a horrible impression, but I'm leaving that in. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the other merchant. I think that's the dude. Okay, let's talk to him. My companion and I arrived together, but they singled out my goods for inspection. I've been held up here all day. You came from the city? Did a Benga merchant have it to give you an item to deliver? Yeah, here it is. Well, what do you know? My thanks, boy. Help me out of a tight spot you have. Heading into the desert, are you? Best watch yourself out there. Get into any fights, just be sure to keep well healed. You hear me? Mind your wounds, or the next blow will take you, or the next blow you take could be your last. Had myself caught by the tail, a time or two out there. Let me tell you. The script. I mean, I think it's good. I say I think because, honestly, I, I'm having a hard time reading it. <laughs> But if I, but that's because like I, I'm I'm doing a commentary playthrough and so I have to read dialogue that I see. 
So it's a little difficult reading it because I'm not used to reading this type of English. It's the old timey English, I guess. Had no idea they'd be closing the gates. I was worried we may not make it into the city, but it looks like we just arrived on time. Or in time. They've closed the Chocobo stables for the day on account of the console's arrival. Speaking of which, shouldn't the ceremony be starting soon? I wonder if we can still get back into the city. Or have they closed the gates? You should check for yourself and stop asking me. 